Hello everyone, I am Siddharthan. Currently we are in the 6th module of our hands on machine learning course and this 6th module is all about machine learning models and some important concepts related to it. So in today's video we are going to understand how to choose the right machine learning model for a project and this process is also called as model selection and once we understand about this we will be discussing about a technique called as cross validation which is used to select models based on their accuracy okay so these are the topics that we will be covering in today's video so this is one of the most requested videos in my uh, topic a lot of people have asked me why you have chosen this particular model for this project why we can't use other models and such kind of questions and this video is the answer for all those questions so let's get started with this and before that in case you are watching my videos for the first time i in this youtube channel i'm making a hands on machine learning course and if you want to learn this course from the beginning, I'll give the link of my course playlist in the description of this video. You can check that out. With that being said, let's get started with today's video. So what is meant by this model selection? Let's start with a formal definition. So model selection in machine learning is the process of choosing the best suited model for a particular problem. Selecting a model depends on various factors such as the data set, task, and nature of the model okay so this is about model selection so we know that in machine learning we have lots of models say for example we have a logistic regression model which is an example of supervised machine learning model and then we have uh, k-means clustering which is an example of uh, unsupervised learning model and then we have a lot of uh, different types of neural networks which comes under deep learning so similarly we have other models such as support vector machines hierarchical clustering random forest etc and now we need to decide which model to use in which product or which uh, you know project. So that question is answered by model selection. So we need to find the best model which is suited for a particular problem. Okay, so this step is called as model selection, and this depends on the data set that we have. Okay, so based on the data set that we have, we may need to uh, use different kinds of models and based on the task that we do. So task can be a classification task or a regression task. So classification task is nothing but classifying uh, something. So it can be like uh, predicting whether a person has a heart disease or not. Okay, so in, the, in this case, we are just predicting whether a person is having a heart disease or a person does not have heart disease. So we have two classes. So again, so this is called as a classification problem. And then we have a regression problem where uh, we try to find some value. So say, for example, we need to find uh, or we need to predict the house price. So price is nothing but a numerical value, right? So this type of problems is called as a regression problem. And then we have recommendation problems, etc. Okay, so recommendation is there, forecasting is there, etc. So depending on this task that we are doing, the models that we select also changes and also based on the nature of a particular model. So these are some factors on which uh, we choose the models that is best suited for a problem. Okay, so this is about model selection. Now let's, uh, let's uh, try to understand how we can uh, choose the model based on the data that we have and based on the task that we are doing. Okay, so first let's discuss about the type of data available. So if we have different kinds of data, we may need to choose specific models based on the data that we have. Okay, so let's try to understand this. So if we have an image or video data set, in that case, we use a CNN model. So CNN stands for convolutional neural network. So it is a deep learning model. So it is a neural network. Okay, so because convolutional neural networks works better with images and video data set uh, compared to other models. So in that case, we use a CNN. So it can be a face recognition problem or it can be uh, predicting whether uh, image represents a cat or dog and such kind of things. So in that cases, we use a CNN. And uh, when it comes to text data or speech data, we use RNN and RNN stands for recurrent neural networks and these two are deep learning models. So these kind of problems that involves a speech data and text data is also called as uh, time series uh, problems. So and in that cases, we use RNN because RNN uh, works better in those cases. And when we have some simple uh, numerical data, we use uh, simple machine learning models such as support vector machine models. We can also use logistic regression, decision trees, etc. Okay, so this is a thumb rule that we generally have in machine learning. So in the case of image and videos, we go with deep learning where we use CNN uh, models. And when it comes to text data or speech data, we use uh, recurrent neural networks also known as RNN. And for simple numerical problems, we can use these kind of models. Okay, so now let's discuss how to choose the models based on the task that we do. So when it comes to classification uh, task, we may use a support vector machine model or a logistic regression or a decision tree. Okay, so classification, as I've said before, we need to classify something. So it can be like uh, 
as i've told you before uh, it can be like predicting whether a person has diabetes or not in this we are just classifying with two output variables okay so one is the person has diabetes and the second uh, outcome is the person does not have diabetes so this is an example of a classification task and uh, then we have regression where we try to find some value so it is like uh, predi predicting a car price based on uh, its uh, parameters few parameters so this is an example of a regression task where we find some numerical value and in that cases we may use a linear regression uh, random forest regression polynomial regression etc okay and uh, one main thing to note here is that uh, few models can be used for classification and regression as well okay for example support vector machine can be used for both classification and regression so you need to take note of that and then uh, we have clustering task okay clustering is like we try to group the data set based on the similarities so in our youtube channel we have uh, did a project on customer segmentation we where we tried to group customers based on their spending pattern so this is an example of a clustering task and in that cases we can use k means clustering model or hierarchical clustering model okay so this is a you know a gentle introduction of model selection so these are the different types of models you can use based on the type of data that we have and based on the task that we do okay now you may ask a question that uh, in classification we may use a uh, support vector machine or logistic regression or decision trees but how to choose the best model for a classification task you may ask that question okay so it depends on a uh, various uh, parameters as well say for example uh, we use logistic regression when we have binary classification binary classification is when we have only two classes okay so in that case we use uh, logistic regression and uh, when it comes to svm there are also a uh, few things related to it so we use a support vector machine model when the data is when the data set is uh, very small and there are no outliers in the data when there are a lot of outliers in the data support vector machine cannot uh, work well and it does not also work well when the data set is too large because uh, the processing time is more with a uh, support vector machine so uh, it is very sensitive to noises or outliers so like this there are a lot of uh, parameters that we need to consider before choosing a particular model so in the upcoming videos we will discuss about all of these individual models and so in that uh, videos i will be explaining you the pros and cons so based on these pros and cons we need to choose the proper model which is uh, best suited for a particular problem okay so i cannot explain you all those things in this video so we need to understand about all these models before uh, going into that part okay so just uh, keep in mind that there are few parameters about uh, models that we need to take care of before selecting the model okay so but this is the general rule so for image and videos we use cnn for text data and speech data we generally use rnn and for a simple numerical data we can go with machine learning models like svm logistic regression decision trees etc and for classification we kind of use these models and for regression we use some regression models and for clustering we use k means clustering and hierarchical clustering okay so this is all about model selection now there is another topic which we need to discuss called as cross validation so let's say that we have two models we have a support vector machine and logistic regression model and we want to find which is uh, which model is best suited for a particular project so in that case we can use a process called as cross validation okay so you have this cross validation function in the library called as sklearn as well in python okay so you can search as cross validation in sklearn okay so I'll explain you how this cross validation works so as i've told you we are going to compare two models one is support vector machine and the other one is logistic regression okay so we try to find which model has uh, the highest accuracy and based on the accuracy of the model we try to choose the best model for that particular project okay so let's say that that we have uh, a data set so let's say that we have a diabetes data set so we have already did a project on our channel on diabetes prediction so this data set when, when we use cross validation so what happens is it uh, iterates multiple times so in this case we have about five iterations and this entire data set so this complete data set is divided into five groups okay so we are just uh, dividing the data set into five groups and the first four groups are considered as the training data and the fifth group is considered as the test data okay so in machine learning we split we generally split the data into training data and testing data and the machine learning model trains on the training data and the machine learning model is evaluated on the test data okay so in this case we have uh, four groups of training data and one uh, group of test data and let's try to find the accuracy of the model let's say that uh, we have used all these training data okay so this four sets of training data to train our support vector machine model once it uh, trains we use this test data set to evaluate our model and we get an accuracy score 
So let's say that we get an accuracy score of 88 percentage. So 88 percentage means out of 100 uh, predictions, our model can predict uh, correctly for 88 uh, you know problems. So that is the accuracy represents. Let's say that we are working on the uh, diabetes uh, data set. So we want to predict whether a person has diabetes or not. So when a model has 88 percentage accuracy, it means our model can predict for under out of 100 times it can predict for 88 times correct value okay whether a person has diabetes or not so similarly in the next iteration what we will do is so we will again split our data set into five groups and this time a different group will be considered as the test data set and again we will uh, you know train the model with uh, the training data and this test data will be used for evaluation and let's say that the accuracy we get is 83 in this case and this process is repeated. So in the third iteration, we have this particular third uh, data set as the test data and the remaining data is test, uh, training data. And let's say the accuracy is 86. And for the fourth iteration, the accuracy is 81. And the final iteration, the accuracy is 84. Okay. So let's take the average of all these accuracies. So when we take the average, we get the accuracy as 84.4 percentage. So the reason we are doing it, we cannot uh, just take one accuracy. So we need to just have multiple accuracy to have a proper value or have an accurate value. So that's the reason we are iterating it again and again. So this is the mean accuracy for support vector machine model. Now what we will do is let's try to uh, do the same for the logistic regression model. As I've told you, we are comparing uh, the accuracy scores of support vector machine and logistic regression. So we are going to uh, you know do the same thing again. So the only difference is we are using a logistic regression model in this case. So let's say that in the first iteration, the accuracy we get with the logistic regression is uh, 90 percentage. And for second iteration, we get 88 percentage. And for third iteration, uh, the accuracy is 86 percentage. And for fourth iteration, let's say that uh, the accuracy is maybe 91 percentage. And uh, for fifth iteration, the accuracy is 85 percentage. So this is just imaginary. Okay, so I'm just giving you an example. So this is uh, the accuracy we get for this diabetes prediction. So uh, in the first case, the, for 100 values, the model can predict correctly for about 90 values. And in the second iteration, it can predict correctly for 88 values and so on. If you take the average accuracy for this particular logistic regression, the average accuracy, the mean accuracy here is 88 percentage. Okay. Now let's compare the accuracy of support vector machine and logistic regression model. So we found in this particular data set, the accuracy score for support vector machine model is 84.4 and the accuracy score for logistic regression is 88 percentage. So based on this accuracy, we can say that in this particular case, the logistic regression is the best model for this particular problem. Okay. And this changes based on the data set we have. So we cannot get uh, this particular result in all the cases. So, so it depends on the data set we have and the task that we have and so on as I have explained to you before. Okay. So you, this is how you can compare two models based on their accuracy. I'll give you an example of how to implement this cross validation. Okay. So you can just go to Google and search cross validation or cross val score in sklearn. Okay. So it will take you to the sklearn documentation where there will be this code snippet. So the official documentation of sklearn there they have mentioned how to use this uh, cross validation score. So in this, in this case, we are using this cross validation score to uh, do the prediction on the diabetes data set. Okay. So we are just loading the diabetes data set from here from the sklearn. So you can see, uh, see here. So from sklearn, we are importing the data set and from this data set, we are importing diabetes data. So we are taking all the features in X and the target variable in Y. So target variable is nothing but whether the person has diabetes or not. Okay. And we are using uh, two models here. So one is uh, lasso regression and the other one is linear regression. Okay. So and we try to find uh, the cross validation score. So I'll give the link of this uh, cross validation document uh, documentation in the description of this video. You can check that out. So this is how you can uh, take a particular data set and you can uh, use multiple models to find the uh, accuracy score and compare them to choose the best model suited for that particular video. Okay. So that's it for this video. And I hope you have understood all the things covered in model selection and cross validation. And I'll see you in the next upload. Thanks for watching.